welcome back. I'm Holly Lightly, and today I am going to be reviewing a dedicated review. I know that never happens. Um, from one of my favorite perfume houses, Italo Drange, their new scent, Ghost in the Shell. The Ghost in the Shell. I had a friend who was obsessed with the Ghost in the Shell anime. Um, I never got into it. It wasn't my thing. Um, um, for its part, the ghost in the shell is filling this niche, this abstract niche within the catalog of uber technology and um, where man meets machine, that sort of area. Um, there's similar types of ideas of scents in lots of different perfume houses, uh, lineups, especially more avant-garde niche and indie brands. Um, because the idea of the man meets machine, the ghost in the shell, the idea, uh, the deus ex machina, um, these are all things that are very, they're very, for humankind, it's hard to imagine something the same but different than us that's not us. It's hard to imagine that something could be as smart as us and as similar to us without being us. So it's definitely a, a, an idea, a concept, um, artistically. So for the fragrance, the ghost in the shell, this is I'm gonna spray it on myself. I've sprayed it before. I've worn it, given it a good old try it out. It's, this is gorgeous. First of all, it's a very, very, very pretty fragrance. It leans masculine, and I think that if you have smelled I Am Trash, um, this is the more masculine counterpart of that. It's like less floral, more musky. So if you like I Am Trash, you will probably like Ghost in the Shell as well. It is not a difficult fragrance to wear. It's very easy to wear. It seems so much more crazy than it is on paper. So... Italo Durange writes, a fragrance for the future where nature and technology meet and com complement each other. A fusion of liquid scented aquol and yuzu, bring, aquol is trademarked, um, and yuzu bring to life a citrusy metallic freshness. Where the velvety skin and juicy fruitiness of peach and pear form a metaphor for human flesh and intertwine with the human heart of jasmine. A hybrid superhuman body between natural and synthetic, whose vital force is born from the power of amber woods and the chrome minerals of moss. So this description really makes you feel like this is going to be something unique, powerful, moving. It's not. <laughs> I don't even have to. I don't really know how to... <laughs> Um, once again, Italo Drange bark is worse than its bite. They love to hype their products up in weird ways. And in the end, the products themselves are actually very beautifully crafted and in incredibly wearable. And that is the same for the ghost in the shell. When I put it on my skin, the first things that come up are that mossiness and some of the synthetic notes. I'm getting to them right now. I'll tell you what they are. Um, so the main, <clears throat> the main notes of the fragrance are Aqual TM, Yuzu HE, Hexyl Acetate from Maine Biotech, Jasmine Absolute Mugain, trademarked, Milky Skin Accord, Moss Accord, Vinyl Gaiacol, also from Maine Biotech, and Orkinox, trademarked. Um, the first things that come through are the yuzu, the peach, and whatever this milky skin accord is. It's soft, it's creamy, it's slightly metallic, but you're not gonna get knocked back and be like, oh my god, like, it's not weird, it's not hard to wear, it's soft, pretty, pleasant. On the dry down, it becomes a bit more aquatic, um, and a bit more of that mossy woody composition, but I still smell those more fruity floral scents 
um, throughout the majority of the life of the fragrance. It is only when it's in the deep, deep dry down that really anything um, uber metallic and very sharp synthetic comes out. Um, by that point, it's not detectable unless you like really put your face into it and take a sniff. So you're not wasting like your time wearing some scent that is just strange. It's not. It totally, it smells like a fruity, floral, musky, woody, skin-like lactonic scent. It's not weird like Secretions Magnifique. It's not trashy <laughs> like I Am Trash. It's very pretty. It's nice. It's ultimately quite realistic smelling if you lived in like a cyber kinetic world. It smells like a cyber peach. <laughs> like it smells like cyber ingredients. So they smell real, but they smell fake. You know, I don't know how to explain it better than that. Um, I got a free sample from the brand. It's not this is not a promotion for them. Um, I'm not sponsored by them to do um, any of this. Um, but I do love Italia Drange and I do like to push people's fragrance boundaries. Like if you think that you might like this, order a sample, give it a go because I really think that it's not nearly as intense as the marketing makes it out to be. If you really like the majority of Italadrange fragrances, if you find yourself reaching for things like I Am Trash, this is something that you would enjoy. So with that being said, this is available in three sizes, 30 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil. Um, it is $59, I'm sorry, $58 for the um, 30 mil. It is... 98 for 50 mil and it is 159 for the 100 mil. Now on the Italadranche website these fragrances are shipping in November but they did drop in um, the EU I think uh, on the 1st of September so there's probably places that you can purchase them now and get your actual bottle now. I will link any places like that down below. I'm also going to list where on Etat de Dranche website you can get your hands on the sample. It's $5 and be warned, they charge you for the shipping. So in my opinion, I would recommend buying like a, a bunch of samples altogether if you were going to go that route. So... That was Ghost in the Shell from Itala Dranche. It's a beautiful, fresh, fruity scent that leans slightly masculine in the dry down. Um, projection is very low. Sillage is very low. But longevity is like 10 hours or more. I mean, it lasted forever on me. And my skin eats fragrance. Um, it's a very wearable scent. Um... Italia Drange has been making fragrances that are unique and also quite affordable, especially in the 30 mil size. So definitely check them out if you want to challenge yourself and want to try something that maybe isn't quite as safe as what you're used to, because I think that it's worth it. I hope that you enjoyed this review, what I had to say, what I think about the ghost in the shell. Not one that I will be probably picking up a full size of right away. Um, but one that I could definitely see getting a decant or partial bottle of down the road. Um, very nice fragrance. So anyway, that is all I have for you today. If you like single fragrance reviews, let me know by leaving a comment or giving this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Bye! Mwah.